So a couple weeks ago, I asked in a poll in what you guys thought was the most helpful in preparing for a homebrew, uh, whether it was watching anime, reading books, uh, listening to actual play podcasts, or playing video games. Now, I'm sure you can tell by my new recording area that I play a lot of JRPGs. You know, I read a lot of books. I watch a lot of anime. Um, and I do, I do also listen to some actual play podcasts. My favorites, obviously, being Critical Role. But Dimension 20 and Dungeons and Daddies are pretty good too. Um, I do all four of them. And I think they all help me in different ways. I read books for for settings. They they help me with settings. And I'm not just talking about the Dragonlance or Forgotten Realm books or even the Magic the Gathering books. Though R.A. Salvatore is one of my favorite authors. Fantastic. Um... I read a lot of sci-fi books and just kind of post-apocalyptic books in general, as well as high fantasy books, and they all kind of meld together to make more intuitive, more um, believable settings, and also helps me with settings that incorporate some form of technological progression for people who want to play Artificers or Warforged, you know, it, it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, and when I'm making my new NPCs, video games and, and anime kind of go hand in hand on that because they're just kind of, I don't know, they open your mind up to, to different characters, different possibilities of characters. Um, I also use anime excessively when it comes to making my side quests. Um, for instance, in Journey to Aurea set, which I only have two episodes out on now because my players kind of... Players. Um, one of the side quests that they did was going and rescuing the alchemist from his lab. Um, or checking on the alchemist in his lab. And when they get there, there's a bunch of slimes, and all the slimes do something different. In Monster's Manual, there's only, you know, what... A couple different slimes. They're not even really called slimes. They're jellies. Um, and I got that from uh, one an anime um, by the grace of the gods. You know, I'm not gonna go into in depth in it, but ultimately the main character uses tame magic to tame slimes and teaches them how to do different things essentially. And that was the the pre that was the driving force behind that particular side quest. And I've got other side quests that I, I got from other anime. I've got side quests that I, you know, designed from watching One Piece. I've got a side quest from Black Clover. Uh, even Naruto, you know, lots of anime out there help have helped me throughout, you know, the last decade plus in creating side quests for all of my campaigns. Um, RPGs have as well, video games in general really have, um, and the actual play podcasts are great in helping me decide how I want to run a certain town or a certain really important NPC and talking in a way that doesn't make my players feel like they want to kill this NPC that's super important. Um, because we all have those players that are murder hobos and some of you watching are players that go, yeah, no. So and so at my table loves to murder anyone that talks to them in any certain way, and I get it, I do. So actual play podcasts, uh, Matt Mercer, Brendan Lee Mulligan, they're both fantastic at designing characters' personalities in a way that, while they can come across as irritating to some extent, the players themselves are like, hmm, this person, you know, I kind of like this person. And that's the best thing you can do when you've got a murder hobo to shut them down and make them not want to murder everybody. Um, so in my personal opinion, none of the four, no single one of those four is more important than the rest. They're all very important. They're all very helpful uh, in creating homebrews. Now that you don't have to read or watch anime, or play video games, or listen to actual play podcasts. You don't have to do any of those in order to have a good, engaging homebrew. But if you ever feel like your um, imagination is being crippled, or you've got writer's block of some sort, 
those are four options that are great at rest, just busting through that writer's block. Now, currently, I'm rereading the Night Angel trilogy by Brent Weeks, and that's a great story. It's a great trilogy that I heavily recommend to anyone. Um, I'm also currently rewatching Classroom of the Elite. Well, I say rewatching. I'm less skimming through it like I did the first time. Um, and that's it's good. It, it it's opens your mind up to more strategic, tactical thinking. Um, and I'm on Twitch. I'm streaming Cyberpunk 2077, so I'm playing a lot of that. I've been playing a lot of Borderlands 3 because they announced the fourth one. Um, I'm also playing Dragon Age Inquisition because the new Dragon Age game comes out next month. So I'm playing a lot of different games at all at the same time, and I'm a little bit over halfway through Campaign 3 um, for, for Critical Role. So I'm doing a lot of the things because I'm currently working on a new homebrew campaign that I'm hoping to find some players for. So like I said, you don't have to use any of these. I recommend them, and I've got lots of book recommendations, anime recommendations, game recommend recommendations in general. If you're curious, uh, you feel free to ask in the comments below. If you don't use any of these, or if you use different things that help you with your homebrew, um, go ahead and let us know in, in the comments below so that we can kind of, you know, help each other out, because that's what this channel is all about. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll have some content on the New Player's Handbook real soon.